Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to watch another demo for one of my viewers. Today we have SMX. He's a global elite and he asked for my help so we are going to help him today. Before we start I have a couple of things to say. First of all I'm streaming a lot now on Twitch. Uh, the link is in the description. I will also put an annotation in the uh, video right now. Um, we are. I'm streaming about uh, 5 hours a day right now. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of people want me to analyze their demos. So uh, we check them out together. We talk a lot. We have a lot of fun. And uh, you know we are kind of learning the game together. So uh, that's been great. Um, also want, I want to thank everyone for sending in their demos. Keep them coming guys. Also I want to thank everyone for watching, subscribing and following my videos. So let's get started. We are playing on the CT side of Mirage. Let's go, let's uh, make it as, let's make the video as short as possible, but let's get as many rounds in as we can. We have um, SMX playing in the window. You can hear the rush coming from the uh, terrorist on the A side. So let's see how he handles this. Very nice pre-aim here. So that looks all very clean. Well, we don't expect anything less from a global, right? So there he goes, doesn't get the hit there, but that's quite a nice angle, right? There we go, he gets the kill there. So this is just perfect play. Then he gets shot in the back. That's kind of unlucky, but um, it's always good to be aware of your surroundings. Um, I really didn't, you know, even I didn't really think this will happen. But, um, okay, right now we have a, fr a three on one situation we had right now, right? So uh, make sure you cover everything. So might as well go, um, you know, we had one guy on CT. We had one guy, uh, well, you were in jungle. And we, had, we had another guy near um, kitchen. So it might be a good idea to get... You know more on the side cover the bomb a bit more but we can also make sure if we have all three players in a that we can cover every corner right we can have one for enter or uh, connector and jungle we can have one for um t ramp and one from palace or ct you know it, it really depends but make sure you cover every corner this is not like a giant problem i mean you stop the rush it's a two and one now it's still a great uh, situation for you guys but uh, it's something to keep in mind uh, especially at the higher levels you always have this one annoying little prick going to backstep you and um, you know in these levels they are actually going to kill you if they get a free shot like this Maybe in the, you know, in Gold Nova it won't happen. Maybe in, uh, I don't know, lower levels it just doesn't happen. So here we have the peak mid. That's a very aggressive peak, but it's quite good. Very good. I mean, you know, we are not going to talk about, uh, we are not going to talk a lot about aim. We're not going to talk a lot about positioning. I'm pretty sure that's all fine. He gets a nice shot in Palace. Almost gets the second shot there. So this should be a round in the books. Well, it's still a 4 on 5, but uh, the damage has been uh, done by uh, SMX. Well, the CT, uh, the terrorists are not giving up. It's a 4 on 3, actually. But still, there's a ton of chances for the CTs to win. So he makes a, you make a ton of noise, right? It's kind of okay. You're kind of covered from any types of rushes, but... Try to limit the sound a tiny bit. So here you get the nice frag on Palace. And yeah, this is just clean up. Again, we have one guy baiting. You don't want to be this guy. Although, you know, this is something to keep in mind. B is all the way open now. So if they actually, if he actually went to B, his job was done. He was going to plant a bomb and they actually had a decent eco. Right now it's absolutely terrible, but um, yeah. Okay, we will have a full eco from the terrorist side. So we're going to skip this round. So let's go towards the next one. Window yet again. A, no, it's still a scout. So that's interesting to see. The scout is, is of course fantastic. It's a fantastic weapon. It's, you're so quick with it. It does f decent damage, right? If you get a headshot, it's an instant kill. If you get a body shot, it's two. It's, it's quite decent. Damage is high. It's not as good as an AWP, of course, but you're quite fast, so that makes up a lot of problems. You have to keep in mind, you're making a ton of noise. Imagine if one guy went uh, to lower, right? He went um, underground to connector or something. If he's really good and his sound is quite decent, he can actually have a perfect timing where you keep making sound on mid and he actually pushes right to connector, right? That's, um, that's something to keep in mind, although I... I s yeah... Does that really happen all that often? If it can happen, you should be aware of it. 
So nice pre-aiming here. Very good moving into cover, you know. It's it's very nice to see this, but, um, you know, you move from the left to the right, so it, it, it's very hard to hit. And, uh, yeah, you give yourself a chance to actually get the kill on the uh, terrorist. Very aggressive here, making a ton of sound yet again. Mid is your, you know, now you're doing the... Is actually going off and off, or... Almost getting shot there from Palace. Nice flash to get mid. So the round is in the books. It's over. But you ha you created a few dangerous moments for yourself. Where I really think you, you can do a bit better on cover. Did you really have to cover Palace at this point? No, I'm not sure. You know, uh, you had mid. So keep mid. Do your job. That's all we can ask for. It seems to me that we are having a B rush. You finally went with the AWP. No one in top mid, so we are not going to meet anyone there. It's going to be a B rush. Let's see how you handle this. It seems to be a very slow B rush from the terrorists, so we are not too worried here. Now, you are just cleaning up 5-0. I hope uh, we are actually going to learn something from this. Okay, holding mid. We will have a battle now. Very, very interesting. So, um... Okay, that's a mistake. I'm so sorry, guys. But uh, let me put that on offline. Okay, so a uh, very interesting situation. So uh, you were playing mid all the time, right? You had the information. You knew that uh, they weren't very aggressive, blah, 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 blah. You know, you had all that information. But now your teammate decides to join you. And it's kind of awkward. He died here. The t terrorist is uh, running away. So you will still stay here because you just saw an opponent, right? But, um, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what your teammate was trying to uh, achieve here. Maybe he was trying to jump down, but that jump down is extremely slow. So it seems to be an A push. Let's see. You have a nice, very nice position with the AWP on a T spawn or a CT spawn. Let's see if they rush through but from Palace. Very nice angle. This is, it's a nice angle. You, you, you risk, you know, it's kind of risky in a way. It's kind of risky in a way. And we might... We will keep the f recording like this. So you move out. The guy from Palace might be able to shoot you. So we will maybe go back into this round and see if that was the case. And yeah, you get dominated there in the end. It might have been better to save actually. It was a 4 on 2 at this point. Um, they got very deep already. And uh, yeah, you know, you were kind of in an awkward position. So we will go back and we will actually... Take a quick look at the terrorist. Let me see the guy from Palace. Okay, let me slow it down. Do we have we have one guy in Palace right now? So let's check him out. There we go, Mr. Masala Lele. Man, Lele, I saw the name before. Okay, let's see if he actually sees you in CT. Well, this is not this is not it yet, but uh, well, terrible flash by him. Gets in. We act, he does manage to get all the way in. As we saw here, you went really in a danger. He really didn't see you, so that's all fine. So we can move on. There we go, SMX. Let's speed it up. Let's skip a couple of rounds. So now it's a final round, right? Um, the economy did reset. We really want to win this. A f smoke, smoking your own side. That's a, that's a tactic I'm not agreeing too much with. I love the peaks with the scout. It's so strong. You're so quick. It's so hard for them to uh, react. So I'm totally fine with the f aggressiveness you're showing. Your teammate dies again. There's the flash by the terrorist. You are running away. You're not really getting into cover. Would it be maybe better if you move forward? Get yourself into cover so he won't have a nice angle on you. Might have been better, right? You were kind of moving left to the right and... Uh, you try to get cover to the left, but if you move forward, you automatically will find a lot more cover. So we will still have a buy round from you because you guys saved up a ton of money. It's being 5-2. So we are still in the in this party. We actually are going for a deco. Not buying a helmet is something very interesting to keep note of. Speed it up a bit. Okay, you guys get the frag. 
you got the bomb so this is vital and this is actually why i keep saying if you have the bomb make sure you drop it in a safe location right now um this is totally the ct's game to win right so let's see how you guys play this out make sure you don't create one-on-ones make sure you don't create bad moments for yourself um you guys got the bomb you guys got it all covered up and this is absolutely perfect right so we got one guy covering the door another guy is quickly there to uh, get an answer if they push in and you are uh, you know very uh, strong here at the um like the exit of uh palace or entrance whatever you want to depends on how you look at it ct will come in and you play it perfectly out together so that's absolutely gorgeous you know it might actually have been better to all go into the same room. So you all go near, uh, near the pillar. You have one guy in the corner, for example, one guy near the entrance and another guy on this angle. Why? Um, if they actually manage to get a frag, let's say they kill this guy. Um, you you and your teammate are both ready to answer, right? Same goes for the other way. If he comes uh, on the stairs and he kills... Uh, you because you were looking over there at least you have two teammates that can answer it's something and it also makes it easy for the guy in the middle to uh, both answer you guys when you die you know you want you really want to trade because that change you know if you actually die without a trade it becomes a two and two and it's not so much a winning position for you anymore it's it's very easy counter strike is extremely easy if you think about it like this right you always want to find the best uh, positions and people just don't always seek the best positions. Of course, it's not always great to stay together because you're very vulnerable to good smoke, to good flashes. So that's that's something to keep in mind. But, um, you know, often uh, you can actually get something done by covering the site in a better fashion. So it's uh, we have a situation three on two. Your teammate's doing a very good job here. So you're just going to hold. Let's see. If one in connector picked up by Q that gets answered by dying by his teammate. So uh, you're holding B, uh, you, you're guessing right, he is obviously pushing B slowly while well, he was walking there for a second. So this is absolutely perfect, it's still a 2 -on one um, I don't I don't mind one going towards B side, right? Um, you have to remember... Um, at this moment you create a one versus one of course it's a favorable one versus one for you because you are the defensive party and he has to you know come into side plant the bomb so you have all the time in the world while he has to uh, hurry up and make himself uh, be vulnerable i'm okay with this but uh, you can also stick together it's something you can decide right but uh, yeah this is uh, quite easy okay we uh so it's it I, you know, your SMX obviously a great player, but uh, there are tiny moments where I really think if you improve those, man, it's uh, going to uh, save you a frag, or you're going to die like twice less each map, and that's that's quite a lot. Making a ton of noise, giving away your position yet again. You also did that on the window side, so I I don't agree with this. I I would like you to be a, a bit more silent, especially because. Um, you have a position where a lot of angles can hear you and it's actually a final position or mid where you play before that you don't make too much noise. You hear the guy in uh, B apps. So this is what I mean, right? If they give away their information, you have the upper hand. Here we have the mid smoke. That's a very bad smoke. He tried to smoke window. Man, if you are any level above eagle, you have to be... <laughs> able to throw these smokes i i know they are hard and sometimes you know you didn't really practice them but make sure you you go into a public casual game and you practice these a couple of times okay so it's a two-on-one situation um you know something is going on in a we have a guy in the back so I think this is going to be just unlucky. You are very, you look very nervous, very active. Oh, this is a free kill. So this is a mistake. This is when I'm saying if it's two versus one, don't make, don't make dumb noises. Don't make mistakes like this. You throw in the flash. You saw the guy. He's going towards A. He has to plant. So you got, you kind of gave him, you know, A. You kind of gave it away side. But uh, I don't disagree with this, to be honest. 
But you can make a decision to be a bit more offensive, right? He will have the pressure on him. Now you have the pressure on you. Stay with the AWP. Be calm. Okay, get on the stairs. You know he's already watching you. Uh, that's what they usually do. They get uh, cover from behind or uh, from behind the boxes. They move a bit more to the back. So they can get an easy frag when you move up the stairs. So, you know, small, a few small error, er errors. But uh, other than that, it went quite uh, good. So we have the first round on Mirage T side. Again, making a ton of noise, giving your position away. But so is the guy from window that doesn't really seem to have hurt you. Which we don't mind, of course. You're jumping. That's uh, risky. A risky shot, but uh, it's fine. Okay, now taking it slow. Again, making noise. Believe me, I react to these type of noises. And believe me, pro gamers do as well. Just watch the ESL games right now. There is always a ton of noise. Dogging with your deagle. Moving a bit while shooting. It's not the... It doesn't make your gun that accurate. So, okay. It's a one on three. You guys should have this in the back. Let's see how you cover this. Moving two covers with sound. You don't have to make that sound, right? I really think you don't have to make that. So, I'm pretty sure the city is... He is not really... Oh, you saw him there. <laughs> Ooh, nasty. That's very nasty. So you saw him, and instead of shooting right away, you actually waited a bit. I know it's a tricky shot, and you're not always sure, and you're going from left to right, blah, blah, blah. Take it a bit slower, maybe. You know, be a bit more concentrated. When you see him right away, boom, headshot. That's really w the level you want to be at if you uh, want to reach the uh, the best levels. Demo is lagging. I found a trick to make the lag go away by pausing on pausing 20 times. Okay, you're kind of betting your teammates a little bit. So I'm not sure why you're not pushing in at this, at this point. There we go. Kind of late. It's uh, not completely sure why you wouldn't push in right away with your teammates. At least covering them. That was really nice. Perfect pre-aim. You knew where he was because of the sound. Shooting your teammate in the head. That's uh, that's not too pretty. Okay, so uh, we have another eco from the CT side. So we will watch this round. Round number 19. Mirage. T side, so we have the game in the books, or uh, in the you know in the in the pocket already. But uh, here we go for a nice smoke. Let's see. Let's actually see if that lands right. Why not? There we go with the smoke. That's that's a perfect smoke. So this is perfect. This is really what you want to aim at, getting that smoke down. Believe me, guys. So it's extreme. There's a guy in Palace. You didn't really see. Not your fault uh, entirely. Your teammate should do a better job as well there. But it's uh, something to keep in mind. Um, you know, guys, learn your smokes. Learn them, please, for the love of God. You make pushes at least. I think it's at least forty times more successful if you smoke, and it's maybe more than forty percent. Maybe it's like fifty because if you really, if you give guys like chances to shoot you without any smoke so it, you're basically practice for them like shooting targets whatever practice targets it it becomes so much easier for them uh, for you to uh, for them to shoot you so throw down the smokes M make them guess make them yeah make them guess that's the best thing and you're just covering yourself and i often believe you if you are pushing you you generate opportunities to get kills by smoking. So here we just getting destroyed. That's, that should be the round in the books. It doesn't really matter what happens here. You did fine, but whatever. Okay, uh, round number 21. Are we going to check this one out? You guys are buying, but it's not a full buy by the entire team. So we have two pistols, two AK, uh, three AK. It's not optimal, but yet again, pistols are fine. We're going for a few fast B rush here. Loving that smoke. Here we go. It does work. Perfect timing. That's absolutely perfect. This is what you want to create yourself, right? If you do something every every B rush, make sure it's very good. And SMX got that to the to his full potential. So he's pretty sure there's no one on uh short. So that's a 
I mean, of course he knows that. There were two guys left. Both saw them. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't really know about the second guy. It, was he maybe in apartments? I mean, um, why would you look at apartments? Maybe he would be. Co- he would come behind you, right? Maybe he rushed his spawn, so he's late for the party. And finally, when he arrives, he might be at. Sh- you know, he might arrive at short. So it's something. If you're not completely sure, you have to. Um, you know, if you're not completely sure, you have to make sure you are covered better than this. I mean, at this point, if you know you 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 are not vulnerable to uh, apartments right now, but you moved a bit more back. Uh, before so it would have been a it could have been troublesome if uh, you know he would arrive at short for example so this is an this is a, um i feel that this is a perfect opportunity to set up a nice crossfire or go super defensive both um here ha- you have an angle on, uh, angle on him right but what if he kills you you create another one on one the bomb is ticking down i know but you know you give him a chance to uh, clutch. Well, you don't really because you are absolute, you're an absolute beast. But uh, you understand what I'm saying. You don't want to give them an opportunity to clutch. Okay, here we go for that aggressive. A pressure. You almost get the shot off. That first shot was really nice time, but uh, unlucky there. So what you guys can see is uh, the fast peak. He doesn't get the frag off and he moves into cover right away. And that happens all so fast. And that's what you really need to work on. Or not. that's what you really want to go at, right? The smoke on short should make it a lot more safe here. We heard the guy. That's a good shot there. Just a random wall bang. I often see people do them. And they get punished for it quite a lot. I often think that really shooting through a... If you... You know, it's already hard enough uh, if you know the guys behind this box to shoot through a wall. So is it really worth it to just shoot at random times because you might think he is there? Because you're giving away your position. Just imagine there was a guy over here at stairs, right? If you shoot, he comes out just super vulnerable. Maybe he's, he was in jungle. I don't really care. You know, he can be anywhere, but you're risking it so much by being so aggressive. Okay, we will check out a couple of more rounds. A bit more carefulness, a bit more, um, you know, a bit more walking, being making less sound. That would help you out so much. But uh, yeah, that's it's small, but it's there. I believe just watching your own demos from time to time would help you a lot as well. We hear the guy on T spawn. You kind of recognize it, and you shoot him. Very good pressure, very nice cover on the bomb side. So you get into a nice defensive position. So this is going to be a GG well played. Okay, kind of in the cover, hiding, hiding, hiding. Teammate or uh, opponents on. You know what? It's very easy, right? So let's say I'm a CT player, and uh, I come in and I see no one at. Um, I see no one at uh, Palace. Then I'm going to move in, and I will never look at Palace again. That's that that happens. That usually happens, right? So uh, if you wait a little bit, you come out. You want to help your teammates at this point. This guy that is shooting your teammates will never be looking at you at Palace. So it's a very good timing. Maybe you don't really recognize this, but uh, it's something to really do a lot, right? If it's very busy and there's a lot of shooting going on, and you really didn't show yourself, then it's it might be time to. Just move out. Two on, it's a two on three situation. They're both very low. The bomb is ticking down. I don't really think they are actually... Well, they have still have a diffuse kit. So they are kind of able. This is a weird angle. So uh, you still had cover. Your teammate not really covering you. So GG well played. That's the uh, oh, that's the map in the back. Flushing yourself there. That's okay. So GG well played. Oh, he's actually a global. So we have the proof right there. So he's just an amazing player, to be honest. SMX, he knows what he's doing. But I just see a couple of mistakes. Um, this game was obviously... They were the better team. Uh, SMX was just a better player. But let's find... You know, it would have been nice to see if the players were... Or the opponents were a bit better. They would actually... Um, punish you on making too much noise, man. What I do so much is I go to underground... And um, I will actually, I will show you what I mean. Okay, I will now show you my typical Mirage round on the terrorist side. So, um, okay, so I usually go to B apartment. This is like the my most used tactic. Uh, if we go for a split, um, I go towards 
B, and then I go to a ton uh, tunnel. So tunnel stairs, I go down. I walk, I always walk towards tunnel and uh, often I already get the first information is the guy on short, they make a ton of noise, they give away the position, so I already know, okay, this guy is going to be aggressive on short. Uh, then I kind of check out a window and I see if there's a nice angle to shoot them and believe me guys, often I see here people, uh, you know when they peek and they try to get a uh, kill on mid, they often move way too much to the forward of the uh, window and I often can see their guns sticking out or I can actually see their head and especially if I have an AK I get get a lot of frags that way and then I look on the right I do a quick peek uh, on a um, connector here if there is no one there I move a bit forward usually and now it really depends on the situation so let's say we are still splitting uh, my teammates are not going to push for any Thing, thing, anything real soon I, I kind of check out and try to listen if I can get some information and usually people give away information so what happens a lot is the people from a uh, window that are checking window are like okay there's no one mid I'm going to move towards palace or I'm going to check something else on a um, what I usually do is I wait for this timing and then I move forward uh, we have this very risky push here uh, often uh, short gets smoked and we push forward and uh, we see if we can get into a nice position here and believe me guys often people are not even you know checking a connector so you could if you really want to if you really want to do it you do something like this you check the left you check the right here of course you check the middle as well you go into a nice position here it's very risky but it pays off so many times and now you have a perfect angle from where, if they get aggressive here, you have a perfect angle to kill them. They will usually never look here. And um, now uh, we can often hear the guy from jungle that was just in jungle going to window, right? So, for example, your teammates make a couple of uh, noises on mid. They make a couple of steps on mid. Uh, you have a perfect timing to get onto mid, go to jungle and backstab the fuck out of this guy. Because, you know, if you make too much noise, you give this kind of information away and... Uh, this push looked extremely weak, I know, but the point is, the point is that why give out information that you really, that is so unnecessary to give away, and why give your opponent uh, an opportunity to play you like this, like the way I am doing right now? It, you really don't want it, and guys, remember, I got really good at this, and it often works out for me. It's so risky, but uh, how do you hate it when a guy, you know, you're watching window here, you're watching window, and boom, you get shot in the face from a, a terrorist that came through jungle, right? It, it's the most, it's the shittiest uh, ways of dice. I know, but uh, it, it's, it does happen because you guys are not careful enough. Um, I'm pretty sure it won't happen to SMX, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So this is basically all I wanted to show you. And uh, yeah, I will now show you how you can send in your demo. Okay, so sending in your demo is super easy. You go to watch, you go to your matches. You select the game you want me to spectate. You go to copy share link. You get the share link copy to your clipboard. It will look something like this, Steam run game, blah, blah, blah. You show this to me and I will uh, check it out and... Uh, you know, I give you. I write. I will write you a review, or I will uh, make a video out of it, or I will maybe put you on the live stream. Um, yet again, guys, my live stream is in the description if you want to check it out. It's a lot of fun. Just follow right if you want to be notif uh, no notified if I'm live, and that's basically all I wanted to say. So uh, yeah, guys, have a lot of fun in the ESO Cologne 2016, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.